With more than 21 million cars which were produced, you will have as many stories today about that car. It has become an icon. It's part of the human story. Most people think of a car as being just transportation, but this was a concept that a car could be one of your best buds. Globally, it's something that brings people together. I know if I've got a problem, if I broke down, somebody would be there to help me. The Beetle is the uh, member of your family that sleeps in the garage. There's something about being in this little car that's really it's one of my favorite places in the world it is. I think it's got a lot to do with not growing up. Somewhere in me is still that 16-year-old boy who got his first car and never kind of got over it. I like the fact that I can do all the repairs myself. Hopefully we won't need that. You have a special connection with those machines, you know, it's almost weird, but uh, this is the way we are. It is fun, it is loud, it is windy. You're not really safe. <laughs> Every event in history is going to have the skeletons in the closet, the things you don't want to talk about. There's this little guilty part of me that was always there, like my car that's my favorite car is the one that the Nazis championed. It's like, it's a hard thing to reconcile. But the truth is, it's been mistold vastly more often than anything accurate has been told. The car's gone from a people's car to a collector's car. The sad truth of this whole thing is that worldwide, they're disappearing at an alarming rate. They call it the people's car, and then it holds true today. It's not about the car. The car is just a medium to bring these people together, but it's the people. <laughs>